Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link and today I'm going to be showing you how to install your router. Now the first thing that we want to do is power on the router. So you want to plug in the AC adapter right into the back of the router. The next thing you want to do is plug the cable from your cable or internet modem into the WAN or internet port on the back of the router. Once you've done that, you just want to look at the lights on the front of the router. Now, depending on the router that you have, the lights that you see on the screen here may be a little bit different than yours, but you're typically gonna have a power light and a globe light. Now, when the router is fully boot up, the power light should turn either blue or green, and the globe light will either turn green or orange. A green light will typically indicate that the router is online. An orange light will either mean that the cable is not connected or that the router is not online. This is normal if you have a DSL connection where you still have to configure the router for your internet connection. However, with a cable modem, this light should turn green after a few seconds. If not, still not to worry. You just wanna double check the connections, make sure that they're properly connected on the back of the router and on the modem, and then log into the router to complete the setup. The last thing you'd wanna do is connect a computer into one of the four LAN ports on the router. It is recommended to, to configure the router over a wired connection first. It'll make things a little bit easier when you start making wireless changes and so on. The last thing you want to do, especially if you have a cable modem, is just to power it off and then power it back on after you've connected to the router. This should tell the router that you've connected it to a new device. And that's it. Now the setup is complete. Please check out our other videos to continue on with your setup. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.